My name is Jose Loyola, and I will be presenting the study of heat transfer in windows using a radiant link system. Uh, our group studied uh, two windows, one with active heating and one without it. Uh, the, uh, the picture shows a rough layout of the piping system in our floor with the uh, window being studied. Um, to the left, there is a 3D model of the window being studied. The pipe is embedded in a casing around the window frame. In the middle of the slide, there is a cross-link polyethylene pipe or a PEX pipe. Below is the high efficiency circulatory pump designed to circulate a water black hole solution through the pipes. The source of energy in the system comes from the heated air from the furnace and the furnace is located directly above the radiant link heat exchanger. First, we have a temperature graph showing the difference in temperatures between the windows. The yellow curve represents the outside temperature on that given day, and the active and inactive curves are shown in red and orange, respectively. There is a 2% temperature increase in the system. The next graph shows the heat transfer from the casing to the room only. The red curve shows the emitted heat to the room by the active window, and the orange curve shows the heat being lost by the inactive window. The figure to the left illustrates the current design. To the right, we have added a cork insulation to direct the heat the, to direct the heat to the window frame to further increase the overall temperature of the window and increase thermal comfort. Adding cork to the space decreases the heat loss to the wall by 72%. This means that 72% of the heat loss to the wall is now being directed to the window frame and the room. Our team was exposed to the 17 sustainable development goals from the start, and this was the main motivation for the project. The group decided to focus on six of the 17 goals. Goal number three, good health and well-being. In-floor heating and heated windows prevent mold from forming. Radiant heated windows also promote better thermal comfort during the winter season. Goal number seven, affordable and clean energy. One of the main inspirations of this project was the water-filled glass project that was done in the UK. Since the cost of installing a water-filled glass is too high and not feasible for Saskatchewan winters, but fish engineering looked for alternatives. They were able to get similar effects with PEX piping around windows. Goal number eight, decent work and economic growth. All the products used in this project was locally sourced and made in Canada. All the labor work for the project was also locally hired. Goal number nine, industry innovation and infrastructure. Wrapping PEX piping around windows to improve thermal comfort is only being implemented in Saskatchewan. The goal is to expand the knowledge of this innovative system so that everyone has access and become standardized for homes. Goal number 12, responsible consumption and production. This goal is to reduce the unnecessary waste that comes from production and consumption. Our system takes advantage of the same energy used to heat a home to heat windows. Partnership to achieve the goal. The group met with professors from the University of Regina to ensure that the goals are indeed achievable and open our team for supplying PEX piping that make the system unique. I would like to thank the professors at the University of Regina, our supervisor, Dr. Armour Henning, the open our team, and the McPherson Engineering team, Aurelie and Kayling, for their help and support throughout this project. And thank you, RCE, for this award.